wakurugenzi kuna mahala nyumba inateketea like the house is literally on fire ndani ya nyumba kwa bedroom kuna jamaa amechoka deadly amelala usingizi hata sijui ni aina gani kwake kuna chomeka hana hata habari hana idea that the house that he is sleeping in is already up in flames kidogo kidogo jirani anatoka anakuja anajaribu kufungua mlango haifunguki anapiga mlango anaingia anapanda stairs nyumba inateketea anaingia mpaka pale juu anatafuta mahali kwa bedrooms nini anapata bedroom moja imefungwa anajua hapo ndio mtu mwenye nyumba yuko anagonga mlango kwa nguvu anapiga nduru awambia toka toka keja inachomeka jamaa mzee amechoka mzee anaamka anapata yani this house is filling up with smoke anaamka kwa confused dead anafungua mlango anavutwa anashukishwa stairs na wana exit the burning building this courageous person was not a police officer was not a fire brigade was not a gentleman with six packs and the bulk chest this was a young lady by the name Sarah Morgan and by the time she was doing all these risky maneuvers kuingia kwa hiyo nyumba kuvunja milango kuenda pale kutoa huo mtu ndani ya nyumba inachomeka wakashuka chini waki inhale moshi na nini na nini she was four months pregnant hata huyo mtamnyima makofi let's do the real thing Atari atari we je nameipiga vile inafaa eh, eh, eh. wewe Sijui amejuaje kiatu ni mpya Taki kuyumiza wewe <laughs> Wakurugenzi if you're feeling like the vibe is a okay you just know it's another one by the ladies That's much like it Hapo <laughs> sawa Leo nataka niwapeleke moja kwa moja Unaona Uganda? Wachana naye. Panda juu. Unaona Kongo? Cha naye. Panda juu. Kupanda juu kidogo kula kachuo mapo. Utapata country ndogo hapo inaitwa Liberia. Niko sure umejasikia stories za country inaitwa Liberia. Tusidanganyane. It's a, com- a country that nobody knows nothing about. Lakini sababu mimi ndio ule mse. I got you. But before we go to Liberia, ama no, actually let's go to Liberia. <laughs> Wadau pale Liberia sasa ni mnamo 1822. Imebakisha tu 2 years ikuwe club pale Langata. Eh hey, hiyo hata sijui imetoka wapi imekuja tu hapa. Hiyo lazima ningeikamua. 1822 America wameamua guy. Guy, guys. You mean tumekuwa tukitoa watu Afrika wanakuja kwetu tunawafanyisha kazi by force. You mean tumekuwa tukifuga slaves huku America. Ah. Makosa ni yetu. Ah yeah, yeah, yeah. free these people they have a homeland wacha warudi kwao ah tumewakosea sana wapatieni kitu kidogo warudi aki tafadhali in fact pole makosa ni yetu 
Hatukujua ni vibaya bana kuchukua mtu by force kutoka country yake, tumlete country yetu atufanyie kazi kwa nguvu. Oh, hiyo bad, hiyo. Hiyo bad. Ni vile hatuna pesa hapa tungeshikia kila mtu mbogos 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 mbogos. Mbogos. Yeah. Ah, ngongo sako hapi na vile nilikuwa. Ameenda? Ako nje. Ah, ngongo. Hapo nilikuwa nisha score pilau on Sunday. Ni sawa tu. So, Americans wakaweka Africans kwa boat. Wakaenda the next continent hapo chini mahali waliwatoa. Wakawarusha kwa land tu fulani, haina mtu. Kuna a few indigenous people wanaishi huko. But ni watu wa vichakani. Wako tu. Wako tu. So wakaingia mahali wakaanza kujigatha pole pole wakaanza kujiundia ka government kao pole pole like wakaanza sasa kuishi vizuri hii land waliletwa na americans wakawekwa hapo ni land ambayo ilikuwa inaitwa the land of liberty wakaamua kuiita liberia kuna mtu walikuwa wanatambua sana alikuwa anaitwa monrovia wakaona ndio huyu jamaa tumrudishie Eh, to preserve ile uotero ya um jamaa we will name our capital city after him that's why capital city ya Liberia inaitwa Monrovia hey unajua una expect mtu atoke America akuje hapa Africa motherland akiwa mazee anasikia hiyo the love and the passion for the mother country na wale indigenous people aliwacha hapo unajua awaonyeshe mapenzi mazee you guys We've been apart for over 400 years man so good to be back ah hey, hey. walikuja kwanza wakajiulizana hawa ni kina nani mbona hawana manguo <laughs> like who does this <laughs> why you these guys are so primitive my gosh you don't know english you can't speak english oh tutafanya nini na hao watu wacha waende kwa bush shika a few of them wacha wakuwe slaves wetu like the things that they were doing for the white people in america are the same things they were doing to these innocent indigenous people so for the next 90 something years ilikuwa tu ni mateso mateso actually ni mia sina uh, 100 and something ni kutesa hao indigenous people like hawakuwa na rights hata kidogo nyinyi ni slaves kazenu ni kufanyishwa kazi kwa jua like the you name it walipitishwa but mnakumbuka ile story ili happen Rwanda after mumekandamiza community fulani for some time si hata wanafikaga mwisho wanaamua enough is enough exactly the same thing started happening indigenous liberians walikuwa wanaangalia hawa Americo Liberians hivyo ndio walikuwa wanaitwa Americo Liberians wanajiuliza ni nini hao watu wako nayo sisi hatuna like kwa, kwani wanafikiria hao ni kina nani so they started becoming very active politically like ukiambia indigenous kitu na imbambi anakuambia straight to your face hiyo sifanyi hiyo sifanyi by the way hii ni mwaka mpya bana we are in the 1920s you stop yeah Hapana, mumetukalia sana wewe. Ah no. Kidogo kidogo they started going to school, wanaenda machuo fiti fiti, kidogo kidogo by the 1930s kuna indigenous Liberians washaanza kuingia siasa. Eh, hey, sijui eh hey, man eh, sheriff wa si sheriff governor wa county fulani, huyo ni indigenous Liberian. Eh, hey, so ikakuwa ah, ah hii keki tunakatana vile inafaa. By 1938 the first indigenous liberian kukua kwenye siasa alikuwa amebarikiwa na mtoto msichana the name of this pretty little girl ilikuwa ellen johnson ellen johnson amezaliwa 1938 kwa familia very very confused sababu gani hii familia they are indigenous ni indigenous liberians so wanadharauliwa lakini baba yake ako bunge so bado ako na elite privileges so ako hapo katikati like okay okay naweza enda shule fiti 
lakini siwezi kaa nao kwa club ama like kuna tu nonsense it's, it's, kuna upuzi tu so ye aliweza ku experience life from both divides akajua by the way watu wa indigenous wana feel aje wakati wanakuwa oppressed design na aka feel pia hiyo privilege maze ah okay so he privilege nikaitumia for the better good of the liberian people he country inaenda mbali sana when i grow up nataka nifanye kitu yenye itasaidia watu a watu wametukandamiza for far too long najua mimi ni elite kama hao lakini wakwende huko so akakuwa eh ni mtu wa kutia bidii pale darasani kidogo kidogo ashamaliza high school kidogo kidogo ameenda shule amerikani kidogo kidogo mzee amelipua shule huko america deadly like ni ma distinction 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 shule gani inamuita you guessed right harvard school of economics ai kwani kesho ala tunaingia huko tuvuruge kwani harvard iliandikiwa ni ya wazungu tunaingia huko ingia harvard wewe piga economics proper iva by this time to go somewhere around the 1970s 69 actually 1969 maliza masomo yake sasa sawa akajiambia mimi si mtu nitakuja hapa eh, america ni gather in knowledge yote alafu niendelee kujenga watu wa america watu walio press ancestors wangu 300 400 years ago no nitatumia hii kitu wamenifundisha kurudi nyumbani kuempower wale watu nimewacha pale nyumbani akafunganya virago zake kutoka Harvard University straight mpaka Monrovia Liberia na akaingia pale akapata serikali ya rais wa wakati huo 1960 something alikuwa anaitwa William Talbot of course America Liberian sababu hao ndio walikuwa majority of the people in government so Talbot akamwona huyu msichana ni msichana ko sawa hapa mambo ya economics ameiva so kama nataka hii country iende mahali these are brains that we need akampatia kazi kama deputy minister for finance wewe ingia hapa saidiana na minister for finance tutengenezeni hii Liberia tuitengeneze vile inafaa kumbe Talbot pia ni kama hao wengine tu anavuruga oh anaingia kwa mali ya umma anakula pesa ya serikali nini Uyu deputy minister for finance of course anaezaona unajua hesabu ni hesabu isipo make sense place moja haita make sense anywhere so kama una embezzle tutajua tutajua mimi mtu nimefanya economics hazard eh, hapa hakuna kitu unaweza fanya na mahesabu nikose ku, ku detect so akaanza kuona no 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 kuna vitu hapa na a aziende sawa akapata job opportunity world bank akaenda very fast sababu hakutaka kukaa mahali pesa zinaibiwa na yeye ndio ako kwa hiyo ministry ya finance sababu ah tukianza kufagia tutafagia wote hata wewe na Harvard yako tutakufagia so akajiondoa of course opportunity ya world bank ili come through akaichukua very fast akaingia kazi world bank akapiga kazi world bank 65 66 67 68 1969 ha we 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 hapana eh haki nimedanganya wakurugenzi wa mzima no 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 nimedanganya haikuwa 60s ilikuwa 70s yes ah makosa ni yangu ilikuwa 70s so 1979 ndio amerudi akapata kazi kwa ule ule mjamaa mwenye alikuwa na mambo yake iko sawa William Talbot but now not as the deputy minister for finance sasa alikuja like a full minister wa finance na akasema ye si mtu wa kunyamaza e, kama vitu aziendi fiti ah mimi nasema e, sitakubali vitu ziende vibaya na mimi ndio nimekali hii docket ai kwani hata universe ilimpatia opportunity ya kupiga kelele ho 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 huko mstuni kuna soldiers ambao ni indigenous liberians pale ndani kuna staff sergeant anaitwa Samuel Do Samuel Do ni indigenous liberian amechoka na hii government ya America liberians amesema huyu William Talbot nataka ni deal na yeye proper so ameorganize kikosi huko wamekuja wameteko over Monrovia wameingia mpaka state house wamechukua kila mtu huko wameenda bunge wame, eh, kwa ministries wamechukua cabinet secretaries wote including Ellen Johnson 
ikasemekana hii serikali imekuwa ikiembezol funds hakuna mtu wa hii serikali tunawachilia sababu kama kiongozi ni mwizi pia nyinyi wengine ni wezi akasema akasema au ministers wakuwe lined up kwa beach wafungwe kwa mti kwa beach vizuri na kila mtu apatiwe risasi zake baridi tufunge hiyo kazi wakati watu wanakuwa prepared sasa kwenda kufanywa majambos Mungu anamuongelesha tu Samuel Do anamwambia kuna msichana hapo ametoka Harvard School of, eh, of Economics na amefanya nini amefanya kazi World Bank huyo msichana ni legit mambo ya wizi hatambui so kama una clear watu fanya hivi fanya due diligence jua kwa hiyo kikosi yote ni wangapi wezi wangapi si wezi hii mambo ya kugeneralize ati oh kila mtu aa hiyo iko sawa fanya due diligence and that's exactly what Samuel Do does out of all the ministers who i think 17 four wakakuwa spared among them Ellen Johnson 13 wali we Pea bebe, pea bebe, pea bebe, pea bebe. Walilaini wapu kwa beach, mambo yao ikaishi hapo. Na will, uh, Samuel Doe, haka ingia serikali. Wewe mambo ya finance unawezana na ayo Ellen Johnson. Sitaki kukupatia Ministry of Finance. Nataka niweke mtu wangu hapo tukule vizuri. Wewe, nataka nikuweke Bank of Liberia. Enda uhead yo bank. Uh, ndiyo uwakikisha watu wengine hawaibi hiyo pesa e, sisi wacha tutajua vile tutachukua watu watu wengine money bank so <laughs> Ellen Johnson akaingia Bank of Liberia hata sidani alimaliza miaka mbili akasema it's nonsense 1982 i think 1982 akasema no 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 hii ni upuzi man haiwezi ah actually I think it's the same year haiwezi like sisi kwa nafanyia kazi wezi No 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 so mazoea kaenda akaita tuko ghafla SPM bus <laughs> mpasho akaroroa akawaambia mnaibiwa pesa inatembea hapa na mimi siko tayari kufanya kazi na serikali ambayo inakula pesa ya wananchi eh release hiyo lakini ngojeni nipande ndege niende America kwanza mnaweza release alafu wanikujie na mambo haitakuwa safi So she takes a plane back to the US wale watu wana release hiyo information the whole country now knows Samuel Do alikuja akachukua power by force lakini kumbe yeye ni kama hao tu despite the fact that he's indigenous alikuwa na Liberians walikuwa nafikiria mambo ya wizi ni kitu unique to American Liberians oh kumbe pia sisi nyeudi sisi ni wagondi hivyo so akaenda maju Of course kukakuwa na outcry ni nini international community kaanza kuangalia eh okay uwezi kwa ulikuja hapo ukachukua serikali na kuu alafu pia wewe unafanya the same atrocities mwenye umetoa alikuwa anafanya sasa Samuel Doe ikabidi asafishe akasema in fact mimi kama kuna kitu napenda ni democracy nataka tuende uchaguzi tufanye uchaguzi mwingine i swear kama amonipendi imagine nitoeni mimi nitaenda home in fact ambia mpaka Ellen Johnson arudi arudi ya campaign aitishe kiti Eh, aingia tayari kwa uchaguzi, achaguliwe? Yes, uh, lead country. Mimi si huo mtu wa kukandamiza watu. Ah, no no no, hapana. Mm. I think Ellen Johnson alimwambia Aki, can't cheat. <laughs> Ellen Johnson akarudi wapi? Liberia. Aka contest kukuwa senator kwa one of the counties. Akapita. Of course, hakuna kitu kingine. Sisa international community wamenyamaza wanaendelea na mambo yao hakuna mtu anapea attention na Liberia akaenda akashikwa we kuja hapa wewe ulikuwa unaongea nini wewe tumkandamize kidogo wewe funga mlango funga mlango na nini ulikuwa unasema nini huyu mtu kwanza akae house arrest 10 eh, for what um, house arrest for one week kwanza tufikirie mambo yake akaweka house arrest hapo waka deliberate wakasema huyu mtu wacha ingie ndani for 10 years hiyo itamfundisha kufunga mdomo sawa sawa ah katolewa house arrest akaingizwa ndani for 10 years pap judge ameamua hey outcry outcry hey bana bana mumeshika mama kwa nini eh hey, wachilieni eh hey. international community wakarudi ehe ai sinilidhani mlikuwa mmesolve kitu hapana huyu mtu oh, oh. ellen johnson anaachiliwa
I know, that are new jokes. Where you talk, baby? Where you talk? Honey, where you do jokes? Where you talk? No, no, no. I don't have shit on Ellen, Sisi. Mm-mm. Mm-mm. Ellen Johnson, I'm talking. I'm talking very fast. I'm talking. Hey. Around 86, 87, 88. Kwa hii serikali ya Samuel Do Kuna kijana very sharp Hamesomea shule flani America, Massachusetts Hamemaliza, hamekuja, hamepata kazi Kwa serikali ya nani Samuel Do Huyu kijana Ni jamaa dunia itakuja kumgundua badaya Anaitua Charles Taylor Ako kwa serikali ya Samuel Do Anafanya ile kitu Akina Samuel, wanafanyanga Ni kuweka weka like umu jamaa anaiba deadly, mbaka waizi, akina Samuel Doe, wana muambia, aa, 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 wacha, aa, no, 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 aya pana, wewe sasa, aa, wewe unaribu kazi wewe, aa, pana, ukiona waizi wenzako wana kuambia naniga dhe, aa, aa, no, 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 wacha, wacha sasa, wacha, wacha, hi, Samuel Doe, anachachishia Taylor deadly, Taylor anaona hapa ni ngori, Samuel anataka kunifanya ile kitu. Anahepa, anaingia wapi? US. Si alisomea Massachusetts, anaingia huko. Samuel Doe anapiga simu US. Kumbukeni? Ah, ni freed slaves kutoka US. So US na Liberia wako na relationship fiti. So Samuel Doe anapiga simu US, ana report, anasema ni aje kuna fugitive amekuja huko, anatuibia hapa pesa ya serikali, ameenda kujificha huko. Mkimuona muwekeni ndani mpaka ile wakati nitawaambia. Of course, Charles Taylor anashikwa anawekwa kwa gereza Massachusetts anawekwa ndani na wanapigia Samuel Doe simu wanamwambia ni aje eh, president mjama wako wako mahali anafaa ile wakati utamuhitaji akuje wewe tuambie tutamweka kwa ndege quick fast tumlete ha hata alikuwa na time ya kusema muwekeni kwa ndege akuje Samuel Doe ni mtu ameenda akakutana na kitu inaitwa Haxo hey dirisha ya jela usiku wakati wamelala hii kitu wewe Hey, hey, hey. By the time wana gundua, Samuel Doe aliruka na dirisha, usiku, gone. Ah, sorry, Charles Taylor, ruka dirisha usiku, gone. Hameona hii Amerika itanimezeshea. Haka rudi Afrika, lakini hakaenda pale Libya, kuna mjamaa pale ya naituwa Muammar Gaddafi. Kambia Gaddafi, eh, 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 papa, eh, niweke tu hapa kwa bedsita yako, manake. Hey, eh, hakuna mahali wana nitaka. Samuel Doe, anitaki Liberia, America, wanitaki, we niweke tu hapa. Ah, Gaddafi, akaanza kumenta kijana, kamuambia, we unajua vile mini lichukua Libya. Nikikuambia leo hii, hata we uneza chukua Liberia, utakubali? Hmm, tufanya nini? Weke ni uki jana training. Acha pigi hapo training ya jeshi. Aingia uko Liberia, achukue country yake. He deserves it. Uyu kijana uyu? Haa. Ah, Afrika ijaona leader kama huyu. Ya, yeah, ingia hapo. Gorilla training. Haka piga mafore uko. Papa, wanashoot mandizi uko. Papa. In preparations. Charles Taylor. Akaunda kitu inaitua. Eh, National Democratic something. Front. NDF. National Democratic Front of Liberia, NDFL. Wameshikana hapo na jamaa naituwa Prince Johnson. Ni mutu wamekua wakipigana na ye kwa Bush huko, like pamoja, wanapigana pamoja kwa Bush. Sisa hii Charles Taylor asha shikana na watu wengine wenye wako allied to him, wanataka kuunda rebel movement, yende ichukwe, serikali kutoka kwa Samuel Doe. Among the people who are ni huu jamaa naituwa Prince Johnson. Prince Johnson ni mutu ana akili, wateni ni wambia tu ukweli. E, kuna kitu watanifanya? <laughs> Prince Hana Akili. Yeye, leadership kwake, ni tuende, tuingie pale, tutambarize, tuvuruge state house kabisa, len tukai chini, tuweke miguju ya meza, tuitishe tukile, tunataka. Ita IABL, wambie, tunataka Johnny Walker. E, unasiki uba? E, e, tafanya nini? Ita Hilton, wambie wafunge. Sisi ndio tunaenda kukula huko. Like hiyo sasa hiyo ndio leadership Prince uh, Johnson an, a main vision. Yeye yeah, atisijui policies. Policies for who? No. 
Mimi nataka niingie pale ni ni nikae ni sawa sawa. Samuel uh, Charles Taylor akamwambia sasa tunaunda kitu mzuri hapa ndio twende tuchukue serikali tujisaidie yani natusaidia watu wetu kufanya mambo ABC and we, shida yako ni pombe uletewe like wewe atusikizane nilikuwa nafikiria wewe ni mtu uko sawa hapa lakini a a wacha ikae ah oh okay okay utaki sawa sawa nimeenda kuanzisha yangu yeah yako ni national eh, dem, eh, eh, eh? national democratic front of liberia ndfl yo jina kwanza ni very uncreative yo jina iwezi kazi mimi naanzisha faction yangu with a very creative name independent national democratic front of liberia mm. wewe well, utafurahia Wacha niingie uko utafurahia wewe. Yeah. In fact wewe una waste waste time hapa kwa msitu. Wacha nikuonyeshe vile tunafanya kazi. Prince Johnson akachukua kikosi yake. Wale wame split hivi au wakaingia heading towards Monrovia. Hakuna wakati wa kupoteza. Waliacha Charles Taylor huko wakimfundishwa manuva za mwisho ndio waanze. Ah ah. Ile 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 kidogo tuko nayo. Hiyo ndio tunaingia nayo sisi. Hapa ntambua. Ingia Monrovia. Pata kumbe Samuel Do ni mtu ajajipanga. Ai Soldiers wake wako huko wanavuta fegi nini walikuwa wanasikia tu ma... eh oh nimefikiria nimekosea mali soldiers wanavuta mafegi huko wanasikia tu risasi pa 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 hey. we kwani huko toa mbegu kwa hii kitu eh hey. we ni marisasi tu marisasi kumbe ni watu wao wanakuliwa huko nje Like sasa sisi ni soldiers tuna protect Samuel Do wenzetu wanapigwa hapa like tunashindwa eh hey, what's, what's happening wanakama wanatukula sisi papa eh hey, guy that's what's happening patie hey. <laughs> pafu ya mwisho buda ni zidi kidogo wameenda wameingia state house Samuel Do ako meeting na mtu fulani anamuuliza eh hey, gadhe nani amepatia kitchen permission ya kupika popcorn sababu Nasikia wewe pa 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 eh kidogo kidogo washaingia. Wame wanakula tu presidential guard. Pa pa wewe nje pa pa. Yaani Johnson na huyo ako kazi. He? Huyu mtu anapiga mkutano na Samuel Do. Ah wewe. Ngori zako siko. Samuel Do amekaa kwa ofisi anashindwa. Nani wamejiamini hivyo? Anakuja akipiga kila mtu risasi. Kidogo mlango inapigwa teke inafunguka kama hii alohana wale limefunguka hivyo sasa hii. Yeah. Vijana wanaingia. Eh, hey. nani kiongozi? Prince Johnson. Ako na pistoli yake hapo anaiweka kwa mfuko vizuri. Anaambia Samuel Do toka kwa hiyo kitu yaenda kupiga kofi wewe usinjaribu, enda kaa pale. Anaenda na kalia hiyo kiti ya president hapo anamwangalia anamwambia hasa wewe. Ah, nataka tu make an example out of you. Ndio mtu mwingine akijaribu kunifanyia ile kitu mimi nimekufanyia afikirie yeah i need to think twice nani nikatie huyu masikio please sing sing unasikiaje buda Samuel Do anakipata pata. They proceed to torture him for 13 hours. Wanamchoma na masigara, wanafanya kila kitu sababu walijua Samuel Do ameficha doma. Hey yo motif. <laughs> Turn me up on them headphones. <laughs> so Samuel Do alikuwa ameficha doma mahali. Na Prince Johnson alikuwa anaitaka. So reason yeye tocha yote ni umeweka wapi do wewe? Unasema usemi. Ah, toa huyu mtu trouser. Leta ile kitu. Umeweka wapi pesa wewe? Wacha nikwambie Samuel Do I think jina yake ya tatu ni Kemani sababu hakusema. <laughs> Mimi nijikute nikikwambia mahali nimeweka hiyo pesa wewe. Ni nijikute. Eh Finya, finya. Finya. 
<laughs> Wakaona hii hakuna kitu. Wakampiga risasi. Wakamparad kwa street. Wamemtoa nguo zote, wamemkata masehemu fulani. The guy did not disclose mali ameficha. Alisema kama mimi naikosa wacha tuikose sote. Sa jamaa akachukua serikali by force akakaa chini kama a few weeks maybe akaambia mabeshta hiki tu inabo <laughs> What's the fun <laughs> Kuna Sa hiyo Charles Taylor pale vichakani ashamaliza ile topic ya mwisho Sasa eh eh yako sawa Sasa ni kuja kuja Ikafika hapa maripoti by the way eh hey, Prince Johnson nasikia Charles Taylor amejipanga Eh hey, naona nika anaweza ingia hapa atuvuruge. Atuvuruge kwa nini na hatutakuwa we. Beba kile unabeba tuende wewe. <laughs> wewe beba kile unabeba wewe. Toka hapa tuende bana hai. Kwa nini iko nini? We, kama we ni rebel na unataka kitu chukua ni yako we beba. Ma rebel factions zikaanza kutokea tu kila mahali wanajikatia pisi ya Liberia kama ugali ya matanga. Wewe kula hii wewe we hapana imondoni yangu we unamchezo watu mazima rebels wametokea tu kila mahali sasa Liberia ime break out to a full blown civil war ni vita juu ya vita juu ya vita juu ya vita Samuel Doe anakuja huko anachachisha anachachisha ah Charles Taylor sorry eventually anafika Monrovia anaingia status anachukua country kwani iko nini naambia kutoka leo country ni yetu kama we ni mtu wa nguvu kama tufanye kazi Eh, kuja tufanye kazi mazee. Eh, sisi ni watu tunapenda amani ni nini nini. Eh, 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 eh. ikatambulika kumbe akipiga hii safari yote, akikuja Monrovia, ile mambo alikuwa anafanyia watu huko kwa villages. We, kumbe hata Johnson ni afadhali. Aliwakatakata. Alikuwa anaingia hivi mazee na kuuliza unataka short sleeve ama long sleeve mti yangu? Wekelea mkono kwa meza wewe. Ukikaa mbaya utakula vest wewe. Wewe unijui wewe. Unijui kata watu mikono ni mjanja deadly ujamaa alijua tukikata wasema mkono hawataweza kuvote eh na sasa hiyo hawa ni ma enemies hawa ni watu wawezi nivotia watavotia mtu wao tunakata hizo vidole na mikono tuone utavote na weka kidole ni kutambue so mazee amekaa ameingia country imeenda elections of course anashinda landslide hakuna mtu anaweza bishana na yeye eh. ellen johnson anaona ile atrocities zinafanyika liberia Sinyamazi, sinyamazi. Eh, Charles Taylor you are just like the rest of them. Hata wewe ukwende huko. Eh, hey, hey, lakini niko Massachusetts mimi wezi nipata. Naisema nikiwa huko sababu najua nikikuja huko ni nini ndogo kuliko vest utanipatia spaghetti wewe. Wewe? Wewe? Hey. Siwezi, siwezi. Wacha nipige kelele hapa international community wanisikie lakini wewe Charles Taylor wewe you are a fraud hakuna kitu unatuambia hey Charles Taylor aki alijaribu kungangana na hiyo country wale rebels walianza kutokelezea from different factions kumbe waka discover hii country wetu amka na mapanga na kikosi yako you will get a piece of the country so kuna rebels kila mahali Liberia goes into civil war again after hii election ya Charles Taylor wanaingia civil war ngori huko ma 2001 2002 ngori like ni noma woo he kelele ikaanza Liberians wamefika mwisho wa mama wamefika mwisho in fact kwa history yangu ya leo heroines ni wawili one Ellen Salif two the women of Liberia Wacha ni kuambie unaona after election ya Charles Taylor hapa 2 to 3 years kulikuwa na civil war wamama walikipata pata wakasema kama mbaya mbaya walikuwa wanaamka asubuhi every day eh, without fail every day those women woke up wanavaa nguo smart wanaenda sokoni kwa fish market flani iko na ka stadium and they sang songs of peace the whole day the whole day tunaimbia tu wasafi let amani wewe let amani let amani tunataka amani yani the whole day 
You might ask why the fish market? Mbona wako enda kuimba hizi vitu kwa nivo ground zao ama kwa stadium? It's because the way the place the fish market was located ilikuwa en route to Charles Taylor's state house. So every day Charles Taylor akienda nyumbani wasafi wako kazi. <laughs> Wanapiga nduru huko wanaimba songs za kuambia wase you guys need to put your guns down. We have suffered enough as the women of Liberia. We are tired of losing our children. Amwezi kwa nyinyi ni gun tu mnafikiria wanaume kwa ni shida yenu ni nini? Every day for a whole year waliko kwa fish market. Sasa hiyo akina Ellen Johnson huko mazee wana amplify, amplify. Anybody who needs to know alijua Al Jazeera, CNN. We mulikeni hawa mama kwa hiyo fish market. Our mama wameumia ya kutosha maze you need to do something. He, organization of African unity wakona, ay, na hii Liberia inachomeka. No, 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 no. Hawa watu lazima wakai chini, waonge. OAU wakasema, we, Akra, Ghana. Kutaneni huko heads of states wa Africa, mujue hii mambo ya Liberia mna solve aje. Mnaona wa mama wanalala kwa soko the whole day. Apana, hiyo bad. Wase wakanza meetings, Ghana. Ghana. Wa mama pale kwa fish market, mind you, these are poor people, la wana kitu. Wakajua kuna meeting inapigwa Ghana, my friend, waliuza everything they owned to raise enough money to send a clique of those women Accra Ghana. And then huko mkae nje hizo hiyo peace building wajue tuna mean serious business. Waliuza kila kitu. Like anything wange salvage, weka bay, changisha, we chukulia watu manini haraka raka ingieni Ghana. Wakasukuma kikosi Ghana, a contingent of super strong women wakaingia Ghana wakaka hapo nje ya peace building wakaendelea na zile songs zao eh tutaimba nyinyi mpaka mti mtatupiga mpaka lini Liberia mkwende huko wakaanza mawimbo oh, oh watu huko Ghana organization of african unity wana feel insecure wanaanza kutuma mapolisi eh pana endeni mtoe hawa wasichana hapo wanachoma oi polisi wanaingia huko na zile manini zao tokeni wamama wana we, wewe wewe eh sinjaribu Wewe usinjaribu mimi unijui? Ah ah. Wali threaten kutoa nguo hapo wewe na unajua Kiafrika hiyo. Eh hey, yo yo bad. Yo. Eh hey, mapolisi wanarudi wanasema ah ah ah. Wewe sikizeni wa mama. Nyinyi sikizeni wa mama. Wa mama wakaingia mpaka kwa kikao, wakaulizwa eh hey, tuambieni wakasema mazi tunaumia. Tunaumia. First of all wewe Taylor akwende huko. Tunapigana hapa wanatupiga wanatuua watoto wetu hata hawafiki 5 years. Do you know Liberia was so poor UN wagawana conduct research ya kushow uh, ranks za develop za development for every country from the most developed to the least the least developed country in the world was which one you are wrong the least developed country in the world was Sierra Leone because Liberia did not have anything to measure yes awakuwa na kitu so awakwa kwa list like awakwa country hiyo zero zero in fact motivation ilikuwa maze you guys bana we need to work hard so that we can make it on the list <laughs> just let us let us make it on the list please we need to work ah sasa wa mama wako pale Liberia wako Ghana wanazua deadly ikasemekana okay okay we've heard your cries Charles Taylor pia kwende huko ni kazi gani wewe unataka wamama wamepanda ndege wakuje kutoa nguo akra ukwende huko hata wewe Charles Taylor akaambia mazee ondokea uh, it's enough it's enough tumumepigana Liberia ya kutosha Charles Taylor mazee anakubali anapiga press conference ya mwisho anaambia waseni aje it's been real adios muchachos peace anachukuliwa hapo na counterpart wake wa Nigeria anaingizwa kwa ndege ya Nigeria na Air Force actually uh, president wa Nigeria anaenda exile wapi Nigeria Haya, Charles Taylor ameenda. Tunarudi kurudisha hii serikali vile inafaa. What do they do? Wanaleta kitu inaitwa interim government. Interim government in ya kushikilia ndio tuende general elections wachague kiongozi. Interim government inachukuliwa uh, na jamaa anaitwa Judy. Judy, ye, ni si kama yako babe. Yo Judy yake inaspeliwa different. I forget how it spells the name. So Judy anakuja anashikilia <laughs> country for two years wanaenda into a general election eh nani anakuja ku contest Ellen Johnson anakam 
anakuja kubishana na one of the best footballers in the world kijana anaitwa George Ware George Ware na Ellen Johnson wanaingia kwa debe wanakosa kupata ile 50% so wanaenda kitu inaitwa nini runoff pale kwa runoff Ellen Johnson anaweka Ware chini anapata 56% of the votes Ware anapata 46 42 44 yake baridi anaenda nyumbani Ellen Johnson goes on to become the first elected female president of the continent umtamnyima makofi na ellen johnson anatumikia country yake kwa uadilifu anajaribu sana actually it was the very first time liberia ilienda a stretch of like 8 years without violence wakati ellen johnson alikalia kiti mwaze she gave that country her all hata wakati aliondokea alika tu chini akasema yenyewe anything that i could have done i did alafu mzee mzima george where akaichukua sasa ndio anasukuma mambo huko but yo hey akinawaambia akina mama hapa nje ai wanajituma wanajituma sana sana one of my most favorite uh, political stories na hiyo ndio story ya pili ya politics nilisema ndio wapigia ndio mzee ndaweza takatu tu kuwe walk wakati tuna trade kwa hizi political grounds maze. unachiki vile wasoa na passion ya country zao maze. aki Kenya tungekuwa hivyo ah man but mimi naona gayone kitu si luck where as long as uko fit ah you have no business talking about it eh ule mwenye anaumia wacha aongee ellen johnson alitoka kwa familia ya biashara ya siasa like walikuwa na kila kitu huni mtoto alienda shule harvard but bado ali feel maze the need to speak up Eh hey, hizi atrocities zinaendelea Liberia zina need kuisha. Eh hey, sisi hapa tunashikishwa dogo kidogo. Hai. Oi, hata huyo mwenye ame oppress tunamuimbia mawimbo hapo mpaka anatii. Eh hey, 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 chama nini ni? <laughs> Acha nisichome hapa sababu mnaweza nifukuza. But the truth of the matter is we are doing badly guys. Itabidi turekebishe. Sasa wadao na watambua sana i hope your political story is a bit palatable political stories ni tricky sababu zinakuwazanga watu na pia ni boring but uh, from your reactions ni mona at least 80% imeingia that's that's an a yo i'm good with it na washukuru sana nyinyi ni watu sana kama imekubamba we fanya ile kitu eh hey, watu waendelee ku survive na nikifunga maze yo na kuru you have been amazing nyinyi ni watu wa nguvu sana sana yani nashindwa situkuwa tu tunakuja huku bas Hey. Tukijaribu kuingine hiki kataka tatu amue tu ah tufanyie huku tu mara moja ama namna gani kabisa maze na hiyo taenge kwa possible kama si story ya ideal sound maze ideal sound wame come through sana god our bless sana joji biashara yako maze ita expand ita buka borders weni boy wanguvu sana empolos hotel thank you so much for coming through for our team Niki kose big sana iko hapa mazee we nyinyi tu kutushikilia mazee kutuambia niaje ile mko nayo ile teni it has gone a long way um will you ever mazee will you will you wewe we god aku bless mazee wewe unajua ile kitu umetufanyia mazee kwa county and of course radio yetu mazee 9.2 DJ A happy pale DJ A happy ndio alikuwa kwa mitambo leo mazee amepiga kazi safi sana DJ sija kupigia makofi leo yote acha nikupigie Yeah man. Na kama ilivyo desturi mazee msema gani important sana wase kujua ni kina nani wako behind the process yote. Ndio mweze ku appreciate mazee ile magnitude na ile uzito mnaleta kwa hii kikosi bana. So nikimaliza story yangu leo naweza taka tu kikosi mzima. Kikosi mzima both from Nakuru and from Nairobi to come to hapa kwa stage tupige intro ya dakika chache kidogo. Alafu we can call it a day maze nyinyi waso wa nguvu sana god wa bless sana adios muchachos peace nice show iko fiti manze ni enjoy tumesafiri sasa asubuhi and we are happy to be here and may god bless him to continue the same spirit ah ni to idriso show me for city nimekuja all the way from Nairobi nimefuata mkuru hapa sijai mwana live akipiga hizo story nimekuja nimecheki show me for city um actually makes it that way expectation it's way way better watching him live i mean akuru today for a bit show i have really enjoyed the first two stories 
and one thing for sure it's never the same being in a live recording now whatever you people see online on YouTube yeah so mkiweza mkuja live shows yeah it's been amazing